Hello football fans, how are we? Let's get started on today's latest football news. So, we will be focusing our attention on Manchester United. According to reports, Eric Ten Hag is extremely angry at his treatment. Yeah, we know he wasn't treated right. He was waiting for over two weeks, people. Two weeks if he was going to keep his job or if he was going to be sacked. Now, as the news broke out that he's being offered a new contract by Manchester United, he's ready to play hardball. He's got three key points that he wants to be confirmed before he signs the deal. A bit of background on this. So last season, Manchester United, they finished in eighth place in the Premier League. This was the lowest United have ever finished in the Premier League era. Okay, there were mitigating circumstances such as many, many injuries. However, many pundits on the TV, a lot of ex-United players, they all made strong cases for Ten Hag to get sacked. We all thought he was going to get sacked. There was reports linking United to many different managers such as Thomas Tuchel, Maurizio Pochettino, Gareth Southgate, but United and Ineos kept their mouth shut and they did not say nothing. Then in the last few days, major news broke out that United were going to stick with Eric Ten Hag and they expected a new contract to be given to him. So The Sun, which is a British newspaper, they have reported that Eric Ten Hag has three demands before signing his contract as he's still a bit ift, which means annoyed at the way he was treated. They said Ten Hag would lay down the rules for how things will go forward. He does not want to give all power in decision making regarding transfers. As there were stories stating Ineos want all the transfers to be dealt with by the transfer committee they are creating. Ten Hag said, hey, let's meet in the middle. I do want to say in players. So let's see if that comes to any fruition. Next, the major demand is Ten Hag will not be told on who to pick for his team and in which style of play he will play in certain matches. As there were reports saying during the FA Cup final against Manchester City, Jason Wilcox, the new technical director, informed Ten Hag to play with a false nine, which was Bruno, up top. Now the next demand from Eric Ten Hag is regarding Jadon Sancho. He's informed the higher ups at United that he does not want Sancho anywhere near the first team and wants him sold immediately. The reason for this is Jadon Sancho still has not said sorry to him or the team. We think this is a fair demand. Now lastly, Ten Hag, he wants his own guys still to be working with him and one of them is the coach from South Africa named Benny McCarthy. Benny McCarthy's contract expired at the end of May and wasn't given a new one. However, with Ten Hag being confirmed as the new manager, well, new, as staying on as manager, he wants a new contract to be provided to Benny McCarthy also. We think this is a good idea as Benny had a really good connection with the players at United. So if all these demands are met, then Ten Hag will be happy to sign the contract. Well, there we have it. Let us know in the comments, do you think United will be successful under Ten Hag? Or do you think it was a mistake and they should have got someone new? Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you at the next one.